Welcome to the Highway Oversize Overweight Credentialing System, also known as Hooks, user tutorial videos. This video will guide you through ordering a new spec haul permit in Hooks at hooks.dot.ny.gov. This and other tutorial videos can be found by clicking the Help button at the top of the company dashboard and on the landing page once the Logout button is clicked. Spec Hall Single Configuration Permits consist of the Type 1 Single Trip General Moves Except Manufactured Homes Permit, the Type 15 16 Foot Manufactured Home Permit, the Type 1S Superload Trip Permits, and others. Once logged into the company dashboard, click the New Permit link. Hooks will display four options. If you are unsure which permit you need, click I Need Help Choosing the Permit and Hooks will display the Permit Wizard which will ask you a series of questions and based on those answers will recommend the permit that best fits your need. Because I want to order a new spec haul permit, I will select I need a NISDOT spec haul permit from the options. Hooks will display the order permit screen. This screen will display all of your contact information that will appear on the permit being ordered. Be sure to enter any updated contact information if it is different from what is displayed. The primary delivery method is how you would like the issued permit delivered. Choose Web Download to get the permit directly from the company dashboard, choose Fax to have the permit faxed, or choose Email to have the permit sent to your inbox. Company Reference is an optional field on the permit application that enables users to associate a permit to a particular job, job number, or other internal tracking. This option is not required and has been provided as a service to Hooks companies. Select the permit type from the drop-down list. For this example, we will be ordering a Type 1 Single Trip General Moves Except Manufactured Homes permit. Once the permit type has been selected, clicking in the From field will display a calendar. This will allow a start date to be selected. Based on the type of permit, the To field will be automatically populated and cannot be edited. Click the Next button to advance to the Truck and Load Information screen. This screen will allow the user to select the vehicle type, commodity type, and enter the load parameters. If vehicles are already saved in company data, a vehicle can be chosen from the Vehicle Inventory drop-down list. Hooks will populate the known information about the vehicle into the associated fields. If there are no previously uploaded vehicles, the vehicle information will need to be entered manually. Enter the unit number if there is one, the year, make, VIN, license plate number, and the state for which the vehicle is plated in the appropriate fields. Select the vehicle type being permitted from the vehicle type drop-down list. The commodity type, load description, and serial number are required fields. Select a commodity type from the drop-down list. Enter a specific load description of the load being hauled and the serial number. If there is not an applicable serial number, enter NA in the serial number field. This will pertain to all permits that require a serial number. You must attest either that the load is non-divisible or that hauling multiple items does not create an additional overdimension. By clicking the I attest that the load is non-divisible attest statement, you are confirming that the load being hauled cannot be broken down further or disassembled as per New York State rules. The bottom section allows you to enter your load parameters such as the width, height, length, front and rear overhang, and loaded weight. To add your loaded weights, click Enter Axles. There is a separate video located on the Help page at the top right of the dashboard titled How to Set Axle Weights and Groups. Click the Next button to advance to the Enter a Route screen. This is where the origin and destination will be selected and entered. There are several ways to enter your origin and destination, such as by entering an address, an intersection of two streets, border crossings, or entering coordinates. For this permit, we will choose border crossing from the origin drop-down list and then select the I-81 Ontario line from the second drop-down list. Choose border crossing from the destination drop-down list and then select the I-81 Pennsylvania line from the second drop-down list. Once the origin and destination have been entered, click the validate and run button to generate a route. The origin is shown with a green O, the route is the blue line, and the destination is the red D. The map can be moved by clicking and dragging. Users can also zoom in or out on the map by using the scroll wheel on the mouse or the plus and minus icons located in the upper left corner of the map. Each red highlight is a restriction based on the dimensions entered on the previous screen. To view the restrictions along the route, zoom in to the restriction, 
click the Get Restriction Information for Road radio button located above the routing map and then select the segment for which more information is needed. The Restriction Information box will display. The Restriction box will display the exact restriction and the reason travel is not allowed on that portion of the route. The load dimensions used during routing, any conditional overrides if applicable, a short route description, the turn-by-turn -turn directions, and distance are all listed under the routing map. If there are any problems with the route and the application needs to be reviewed, click the I have a problem with the route and would like it reviewed checkbox located above the map. In the empty text field, type the requested route and the reason the request for an alternate route is being made. This will send the permit application to the permit office for review. An additional video titled Routing is located on the page help at the top right of the dashboard detailing more routing options and features. Clicking the Next button will display the Permit Fee Summary screen where all information should be verified. Attest that you have read and understand all the legal requirements for ordering a permit within Hooks by clicking the associated checkbox. Verify the dimensions and route and then click Submit to proceed to the Permit Submission Successful screen. The permit will now be located in the shopping cart if you do not wish to pay for it now. From this screen, you can return to the dashboard or pay for the permits. Since this permit is self-issue and will not be submitted for review, click the Pay for Permits Now link to proceed with the payment. If the permit is not self-issue, the Pay for Permits Now link will not be available and the message will display stating that the permit has been on queued for further review. Clicking the Pay for Permits Now link will display the Pay for Permits screen. Verify the permits listed for payment are those that were selected for purchase. Click the Pay for Verified Permits button to continue the payment process or click the Cancel button to return to the company dashboard. The payment information screen will be displayed. Select the payment method from the drop-down list and click the Submit button. If escrow is selected, the payment will be immediately processed. If credit card is selected, you will be redirected from Hooks to the credit card processor site. Please note that while a credit card payment is processing, do not use the forward or back buttons on your browser. Once the payment is complete, the confirmation page will allow you to click the Return to Dashboard link. If paying by escrow, the issued permit screen will be displayed, listing the issued permit numbers as a hyperlink to the permit PDF that can be printed or emailed as needed. If you previously selected your delivery method as fax or email, the permits will also be sent at this time. Any routing and special instructions will be printed on the permit itself along with turn-by-turn -turn routing directions with distance and estimated time of travel. The permit will be listed on the company dashboard once paid for and issued. Clicking on the permit number hyperlink will open the permit PDF for you to save or print. This concludes the Hooks user tutorial video on how to order a new spec hall permit. Thanks for watching and don't forget more videos are available for your convenience.